Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, I know I look rough. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey girl, I ain't feeling the greatest right this minute. However, comma. Y'all know what's going on in the news. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. All right. So I know y'all freaking out because there's some chicken on my plate. But today she needed some chicken. I got this from Bravo. What is this, babe? Stew chicken? Stew chicken, um, yellow rice, and some beans and some cucumber salad. I feel like these are pinto beans and cucumber salad. And she let me taste her beef patty. I know it's not pescatarian. Don't judge me, judge your mama. Today she wanted something different. And we got some, my bad, mango nectar to drink. Let's, let's, oh. mm, that's good. That's your. Mm hmm. So let's get into this. This is from Bravo, the grocery store. I know that sounds weird, but it is. Ooh, it smells mm. so good. You want these? Okay. Mm. <laughs> That's delicious. Oh my God. This is a great way to break your <laughs> meat fast, boy. This is tasty. Mmm. Mm hmm. Ooh. Mm hmm. Not the angle. Mmm. Come on, Bravo. Let's put a little hot section. If y'all didn't know, Bravo is a grocery store. It's like Hispanic Caribbean grocery store. That's how I can describe it. Because they always had a good food. I want something different. The kids wanted something different. I did not feel like cooking. Because I, I don't, like I told y'all before, my immune system is stupid. So I don't know if I caught a cold or this is just allergies. I just feel like garbage. But. I had to speak on this situation from last night. Everybody done seen the Oscar slap heard around the world. Child. And a lot of people feel like Will Smith did what he's supposed to do as a husband. And I don't agree. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> Now, before y'all come for me in the comment, <laughs> do I feel like you're supposed to protect your wife? Yes. Do I feel like you're supposed to protect your family at all costs? Yes, absolutely. Because when it comes to mine, these two that I made, I will go to hell and back to take care of my babies. My sister, hell and back. My mama, my stepdaddy, stepsister, hell and back, okay? All my cousins, they know I'm crazy, okay? Don't let the cuteness fool you. I will knock you down, drag you, and curse you all the way out. I have a potty mouth that my mama don't even know about, child. <laughs> mama, I'm sorry. But I will, child, drag you for filth. Don't, please. But a silly joke about her bald head was not warranted to slap. Yes, you should have said, keep my wife's name out your mouth. You should have said that. You should have said that. Yes. But to walk up there and slap somebody for saying a, a simple joke about G.I. Jane, I had to explain to my kids who G.I. Jane was in the first place because I ain't even heard of that before. I had to explain that. It made me feel old, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You laughed at the joke. My girlfriend made a good point. It was an awkward laugh. Shout out to Nikki. Hey, girl, I love you. Um, it was an awkward laugh. Huh? <laughs> that wasn't funny. <laughs> but when you saw your wife face, you turned into Psycho Will and went up there and slapped that man. Chris Rock mm -hmm. held his composure. Had it been any other ghetto Negro, any other one, that would have been a whole different outcome. The commentary that I've heard from, I think it was Stephen A. Smith, and I forgot the other sports commentator that I saw on, on Instagram talking about it. Yeah. But he wouldn't have hit them people. He knew who he was hitting. That was so uncalled for. How the thing that makes me so crazy about this whole situation is everybody thinks that Chris Rock knew that this lady was suffering from alopecia. Also, please stop making alopecia a deadly disease. Okay, this is not cancer, this is not a life threatening thing. People lose hair. I have alopecia issues, okay. I have issues because I take medicine and I have temples that are falling out and whatever have you. It happens. Stop trying to make her the poster child for alopecia. That is not a deadly disease, guys. I'm sorry that she is losing her hair. And yes, I work in the hair industry for dang near 30 years. I have dealt with alopecia with people. Okay? I get it. It sucks as a black woman to lose your hair. I get that. I told, please don't come for me in the comments. I completely understand how she feels. I have dealt with this with people before. I have never, never seen somebody say a stupid GI Jane joke. I know. It was, it wasn't, it was in poor taste. I get it. I understand that. But to warrant walking up on a stage in front of the world to slap somebody because he talked about your bald headed wife. Please. She bald headed. That's not, you're going to sue me for telling the girl. Girl, bye. Anyway. It was unnecessary. Well, I get it. People have been dragging you for feel because of your lifestyle. Because of. Why is my child trying to break oh through the door? Go get. Turn my dog back and go crazy. Let him out. Long story short, guys, I do not agree with violence. I know if he had a came for her about something more serious, I would have been like, "Nuck if you buck. Okay, cool. But that simple little stupid joke. You took out every anger you had with everybody on one person. And people have been talking about, oh, he should have had that same energy with August Alcina. Baby, you can't have that same energy when you agree to some stuff. The only thing he was sad about is that his whole relationship was put on full blast. That his whole lifestyle was put on full blast. That's the only thing you can be upset about. Because August didn't keep his mouth shut. Y'all didn't pay him enough to keep his mouth shut. And that baby was in love with her. Okay? But you see, you ain't seen nothing from August since. Where is August? Is he still alive, y'all? 
Well, please let me know, because I don't, listen, I ain't seen them. Also, I don't follow him, so I don't really care. <laughs> but this whole situation was so ugly and so stupid. My sister happened to be watching the Oscar. My son was the one that was like, Ma, Chris, <laughs> uh, Will Smith just slapped Chris Rock. And at first, when I first saw the video, I did think it was like a skit or something until I saw Will Smith's this was the muted version mouth moving and i read his lip he made sure that everybody could read his lips in this world he he made it quite clear what he was saying and when he was dropping them f-bombs all right like, okay you big man okay cool big man or little man yeah and I was like, okay. I've seen it is indeed alive. Okay, great. Thank you for the update, reporter. He just posted on March 17th. Um, yes. Thank you. My <laughs> social media butterfly over here. <laughs> she keeps me on top of everything. So, y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel. I went on um, WTF's page. Sunday night, she had a live, we had a live conversation. East dad was in the in the comments, had me hollering. <laughs> Go watch that video, because it was hilarious. And people feel how they feel. I just don't feel like it was warranted. Yes, protect your wife. Yes, protect your family. But to sit up there and slap somebody over a G.I. Jane comment, too much. It's too much. That's how I feel. It's my opinion. I can have it. It was too much. <laughs> they need to give you more chicken and less rice. How about that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So if y'all have a Bravo grocery store near y'all, go check it out because this is good. All right. This is very tasty. Mm. That's a good break from fish. Tomorrow <laughs> we will be premiering the batty sauce. Okay, I'm so excited. I just got my batty sauce in the mail today. I'm um, kind of mad at my mailman because he left it at the door. It's hot today. It's in the 80s. Day in the 90s. And he left my sauce outside. Thanks. He didn't ring the doorbell. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tiffany Habish. Did y'all see the video of Tiffany Haddish? I forgot. Was it E? E T? E T. Entertainment Tonight reporter. Oh, Jesus. That video had me dying. Tiffany Haddish, first of all, she's friends with Will and Jada. You know, they did girl trip together, whatever, whatever. But the way she dragged this lady. It was so smooth. It's so painless. Oh my God. I was like, oh, oh, we, oh. Because the lady said, oh, we did a costume change. She talking about, this is not a costume. <laughs> She's like, this is a gown, a Dolce and Gabbana gown. I'm not getting paid for this. I paid for this for myself. I was like, oh my God. The lady even said, time of death for me is right now. And she, oh. Uh, you gotta see the video. It's on YouTube. Uh -oh. Excuse me. Yeah. That night was a lot. It was a lot. Also, please. I knew I should have wrote these things down. Please help me understand how it's okay for Will Smith to make jokes on his Twitter and go party like he's a rock star afterwards and how how 
Mom. You can make jokes, but he can't make jokes. Okay, cool. What, what? Someone just said Will Smith marriage open to everything but jokes. <laughs> That's, a very That's good hilarious. Point. Mm, I forgot to take him. This little dry. You need to go to the Golden Crush. <laughs> <laughs> the inside not dry. It's the outside. Look, flavor is there. But anyway, y'all. Uh, they done made a Jersey mix in here. I can't. The memes. My kids and I were up cool after two o'clock last night. With the memes going back and forth throughout the house, that crap was funny. But at the end of the day, Will, I, I know you're going to ride this fame for a few minutes, but it's not its not a good look. It's just not. That's how I feel. So, y'all, be respectful in the comments. Everybody can have their opinion. We're not finna go to blows over no opinions. Everybody got opinions just like everybody got buttholes, okay? So feel free to comment. I may or may not reply, but <laughs> this is a hot topic. My my sister was like, this truly is a hot topic, and it is just that, a hot topic. So we're going to let it ride. We're going to see what happens. I I feel like the tears... After when he won the award, it was just a show. I don't believe he was that emotional about no daggone situation. I know people say he was talking to his his public his. Uh, who was it? Huh? His Tyler man, Perry and, and his Tyler publicist. Perry and the publicist and all this stuff. Yeah, it's a mess. It's a mess, and I I just don't agree with it anyway. Just don't even say guava. Oh, um, never mind. Okay. What does it say in Spanish? Guayaba. Oh wow! Don't listen to me. Now. Thank y'all so much for joining me for this this all over the place mug bone. This is a lot of rice. <laughs> a lot of rice. <laughs> mm -hmm. They need more chicken. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll finish it later. I love you guys and there's nothing you can do about it. Please be respectful in the comments. Leave your opinions. I'm here. We can have a conversation. I will fight you if you talk to my heart. It's out of your neck. I'm not worried about that because, you know, like I said, don't let this nice smile fool you because, you know. Yeah. Since my mama watched, I'm going I'm to keep it together. <laughs> I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.